Good afternoon, Buccaneers. Today in our lesson, we're learning about the giant Pacific octopus. So Emma and I have a book that we'd like to read to you. It is a nonfiction book, and it's called Giant Pacific Octopus, The World's Largest Octopus, and it's written by Leon Gray. <clears throat> Here's the title page. And then we have our table of contents. So remember with um, nonfiction books, we can actually skip around. We don't have to read it from the beginning to the end. But Miss Wallace is going to do that today. Gi Ocean Giant. <clears throat> Excuse me. The giant Pacific octopus is the world's largest octopus. This ocean giant has eight arms. Each arm can grow up to 16 feet long. With its arms stretched out, the octopus is about as long as a minivan. Then this is a caption that explains the picture. A large male giant Pacific octopus can weigh more than 100 pounds. One of the largest ever caught weighed more than 400 pounds. <clears throat> a watery world. The Pacific octopus lives in the Pacific Ocean. And the Pacific Ocean is right by um, the state of Washington. That's what feeds into the Puget Sound. It usually lives in shallow water near the coast. Yet it may also live in water that is up to 5,000 feet deep. There are about 250 different kinds of octopuses. The smallest is called octopus wolfie. It is only about the size of a penny. So giant Pacific octopuses in the wild. This is like the video that we saw today. Where it shows, remember, we're right up here in North America. So here's the Pacific Ocean. And some of these octopuses can be found over by Asia. Odd bodies. The giant Pacific octopus is an odd looking animal. Its eight long arms are attached to its head. Above the octopus's head is a body part called the mantle. Shaped like a sack, the mantle contains the stomach and other important body parts. So here's another caption. The giant Pacific octopus has two rows of up to 280 suckers on each arm. The suckers help the octopus feel and grab onto rocks as well as taste food. So here's the arms. <clears throat> the head is way back here. And then here's the mantle. Inside the mantle is the stomach. And I also learned that that um, octopus has three hearts. And then here's the suckers. Tiny dents. Like all octopuses, the Pacific octopus does not have any bones in its body. As a result, it can squeeze into small holes or cracks in underwater rocks. The giant Pacific octopus uses these small rocky places as its home or den. When resting, the octopus hides in its den. The only hard part of an octopus's body is its beak, which is found at the bottom of its body in its mouth. So here's the octopus's underside, and there's the mouth, and then the beaks on the inside. And here's the octopus in the den. <clears throat> Dinner. When it's hungry, the giant Pacific octopus leaves its den to hunt for food. Crabs, clams, and other animals with hard shells are a few of its favorite foods. The octopus uses its strong beak to bite open its victim's shell. With its bite, the octopus also sends poison into its victim to make it stop moving. After that, the octopus brings the meal back to its den to eat it. So here's another caption. 
After it has eaten, the octopus pushes away empty shells out of its den. The pile of shells is known as a midden or an octopus garden. So here's all the leftover shells. And then here's the crap that it's eating. Changing color. The giant Pacific octopus is hunted by many animals. Seals, sea otters, and whales are just a few of animals that will kill and eat octopus. Luckily, the octopus has a way of hiding from its enemies even after leaving its den. It can quickly change its body color in order to blend in with its surroundings. Do you remember what that's called, boys and girls? Camouflage. You're right. Here's another caption. The giant Pacific octopus can change the look and feel of its skin to help it hide in the ocean. For example, it can make its skin appear smooth or bumpy. An inky getaway. Sometimes a giant Pacific octopus is spotted by an enemy. When this happens, the octopus can play another trick with color. It squirts a cloud of black ink out of its body. The dark cloud makes it hard for the octopus's attacker to see it. Meanwhile, the octopus has enough time to escape. An octopus can move quickly by pumping water in and out of a tube-shaped body part called a siphon. The octopus sucks the water in to fill the mantle and then pushes the water out to shoot.